Hello and welcome to tutorial 2 for speech to text Pro. In this tutorial I will discuss how to produce a more complex document using this app. And um, by complex document I mean a document that has about the same level of complexity as a Word document that can support segmentation and um, also categories and subcategories like chapters and sections and can present blocks of text like paragraphs and tables, lists, multi-lists, and pictures in a structured and organized way. So for this we need to get to the uh, book view and uh, let's also enlarge the app to a full screen and uh, what I'm going to do is compose a uh, demo, uh, demo document to um, give you a sense of how what the process is like and also give me a few things to comment on later on so specifically I want you to see the voice commands being used okay so let me begin what I do in a typical week move down a book about what I do in a typical week select in during Move down, Michael, acronymize G, P S Y L L A K I S. Add chapter, Monday through Friday. Move down, what I typically do, Monday through Friday. Add section, morning. Move down, what I usually do in the mornings of those days. Add section, afternoon. Move down, what I usually do during the afternoon. Select last word. Previous one. Afternoons. Add section, evening. Move down how I spend my time during the evening. Add chapter, weekend. Move down, what I usually do during weekends. Add section, all day. Move down, what I usually do throughout the day during the weekend. Add paragraph. Delete block. Go down. Go down go down, add paragraph, I wake up early and I reach for a glass of water instead of coffee, period. Then I have an hour long workout with my trainer, period. It puts me in the right state of mind to deal with the challenges of the day, period. I'm very busy, comma, but this is a priority, period. Select hour long, hyphen, move up, the morning challenge, move up, if it has to happen, comma, it has to happen first, period, go down, add table, strength, semicolon, balance, semicolon, endurance, semicolon, flexibility, exclamation mark, 1.11 semicolon 1.21 semicolon 1.31 semicolon 1.41 exclamation mark 2.11 semicolon 2.21 semicolon 2.31 semicolon 2.41 exclamation mark 3.11 semicolon 3.21 semicolon 3.31 semicolon 3.41 exclamation mark Move up, afternoon fitness values. Move up, they don't mean anything, comma, of course, comma, and are being used for illustration purposes, period. Select illustration, demonstration, go down, add list, 
I read to learn because learning is a great way to expand your horizons, period. I also spend time with people I care about, period. Sometimes, comma, I make time to do nothing, period. Sometimes I clean the house and get organized, period. Move up, my evening habits. Move up, good evening habits are all about letting go of the pressures of the day, period. Go down, go down, add multi list. Level one, on weekends, comma, I network over coffee with friends and loved ones, period. Networking breakfasts are less disruptive and more productive than la delete last word loud cocktail parties period level two sometimes comma i meditate to clear my mind period i repeat success mantras for 20 minute sessions period capitalize success mantras select 20 minute hyphen level three I love to read the news, period. I get the latest headlines from Twitter, period. Level 1. On weekends, comma, I network over coffee with friends and loved ones, period. Networking breakfasts are less disruptive than loud cocktail parties, period. Level 2. Sometimes, comma, I meditate to clear my mind, period. I repeat success mantras for 20 minute sessions, period. Level 3. I love to read the news, period. I get the latest headlines from Twitter, period. Capitalize success mantras. Select 20 minute hyphen. Move up. These are my weekend habits. Move up. I enjoy those habits throughout the whole day, period. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Insert picture. Go down, add picture, so hovering over one of these blocks will highlight the block and also bring into view on the right side the data fields corresponding to this uh, block. And uh, whenever a, um, the detailed view of the block is displayed here, one of the text fields is going to be active by default. And by active, I mean enabled, so that if I were to enable speech recognition right now, the um, content would be added to, to the title here. I know this because of two indicators. One is the flashing cursor, and the other is the border that is bluish and also uh, thicker. Let's confirm this. This is just a test to prove a point. Undo. So to populate this, uh, the document tree here, the document structure, I used a number of uh, voice commands and these are grouped under a category called book related. So these are commands like add chapter, insert chapter, add section, insert section, and so on. And um, they are for adding blocks and also editing the document structure. For example, you can delete a block. It's something I haven't done. And you can also delete a book, the, the, whole, the whole structure, the whole um, document. So if you pronounce delete book, uh, that is going to actually delete all this entire document. So please use this voice command responsibly because um, once you delete your document, uh, you can't recover it, unfortunately, unless you've saved it. And you can save it through 
the save button down here. Another group of voice commands I made use of uh, are the ones under book navigation, such as go up and go down. These ones permit up and down navigation along the document structure. As for the move up and move down ones, these permit navigation up and down within the detail page. So this is how you can jump to the adjacent text field uh, using move up and move down. So as mentioned earlier, once you've generated your document, you can save it. Now if you save the document, it's going to save as an XML file and in a format that is only understood by Speech2Text Pro. So even though you will be able to open that file using a um, text editor, the data will not really make any sense these files are only intended to be opened by speech to text Pro, and you can open these XML files using the Open File button right here. If you um, click this button, this is the Clear button, it's as dangerous as the uh, Delete Book voice command because that is going to delete the whole content, and unless you've saved it as a file, you won't be able to retrieve it then. So once you have the final draft of the content, then you can click the um, second button on this vertical menu bar to appreciate the uh, end result. Okay. So this is the multi list, and as you can see, a multi-list differs from a simple bullet list in that it supports nesting and the nesting of the multi-list goes five levels uh, deep. This is also explained in the, in the voice command and I'm going to explain voice commands in general in the next tutorial. The various typefaces that you see here correspond to the title of a paragraph, subtitle, the title of a section, subtitle, and this is the uh, title of the multi-list and then the footnote. Okay, and this is the single list or bullet list with its title and footnote. This is a section with its title and, and, and sub, uh, subtitle. This is the picture or one of the pictures and this is the table, okay, with its title and uh, footnote. Okay, and this is the book itself. Okay, this is the front page. You can do a few things with this document, including print it. However, this dialog lets you do more than printing, because through this drop-down, you can also select Microsoft Print to PDF, and then click Print, and then type a name, and click Save. And now the document is going to be saved as a very crisp PDF file. Let's go check it out. You can also save your document as a variety of file file types or file formats, including docx, doc, rtf, html, htm, xaml. Now that's a different xaml than the xaml files shown in the earlier screen, and uh, text. One more thing to mention about this screen is that you can make modifications to the um, format of the uh, of a block of text. For example, suppose I wanted to make some changes to this paragraph body, okay? Because this is the paragraph title and this is the paragraph footnote or footer. Okay, so in this case I would just simply click on the paragraph 
this would cause it to become highlighted and then right click on it and if you're in touch screen that would mean holding down on it this is going to display a dialog with a three state switch up here okay so this is the type of formatting so if you switch it the first time it's going to allow you to modify the presentation of the characters change for example the uh, the weight um, make it italic underline it strike through um, I'm not gonna do the rest you know change the font family change the font size the font color and uh, even give it a, a nice highlight now if you check apply to all similar similar blocks then all the all the bodies of all the paragraphs are going to be affected in in this manner okay so this does it globally the next setting is concerns the presentation of the paragraph from here you can change the parameters of a paragraph such as its left indent right indent first line indent text alignment before spacing after spacing line spacing and multiple spacing and the last one affects the whole document it basically affects two parameters which are the uh, margins so through this control you can increase or decrease the vertical margins or the top margins and through this control the left and right or horizontal margins okay so this sums it up thank you for patiently watching this tutorial and uh, see you in the next one